So hi everyone, um, welcome to another video um, in my channel. So what we have here is another lesson from Fundamentals of Mathematics. This is going to be a very simple lesson. This will, or we will talk about rounding off numbers. So there are certain rules when we are rounding off numbers. So there are certainly three rules about that. One is, or first rule, if the digit in the right hand side of the number that is being rounded off is less than five, so we mean that as four, three, two, one, and zero, then the digit will retain or will be retained. Any number of the digits after that number becomes zero then, and this is known as rounding down. So as an example, so say we round off 473, if it is round off, rounded off to the nearest tens, so the number will be 470. Since the number to the um, right of that is 3, so 3 is certainly you know, less than 5, so we will retain this 7, and all the numbers after that will be 0, so that's 470. We call this as rounding down. Another example. We have 5,426. If this digit, if this number is rounded off to the nearest hundreds, so in the number 4 here, so this will become 5,400 because the number on the right side of number 4 is 2, and 2 is less than 5, so therefore we will retain this one and we call this round down. Okay, hopefully that is clear. Let's go to the second rule. So rule number two tells us that if the digit in the right-hand side of the number that is being rounded off is greater than 5, so we say greater than 5 as um, 6, 7, 8, and 9, then a digit is added with 1. Any number of digits after that number becomes 0 then, and this is what we call as rounding up. Okay, opposite of rounding, well, down, obviously. So, for example, we have, say, 682. If this is number is rounded off to the nearest hundreds, so we will try to look at number 6. And to the right hand of that 6 is 8. So therefore, we round up. We add the 1 to this 6. So therefore, it will become 700. And all the numbers after that will be 0. Another example is 1,729. If this number is rounded off to the nearest thousands, so we see the thousands digit here. The number to the right of that is 7. 7 is greater than 5. So therefore, we add 1 to this 1. So therefore, it will become 2,000 and all the numbers to the, to the right of that becomes 0. Okay, so that's simply rule number 2. Um, we call this, um, if the rule says that it's greater than or equal to 5, we call that as the traditional rule. But as for the banker's rule, this will be our third rule. Okay, so for number 3, sorry, this should be number 3, referred as the banker's rule. So if the, if the number to be rounded off is even, and if the right-hand side is exactly 5, so when we say exactly 5, there's no more number um, to, the, to the after 5, or the digits following the 5 are zeros, um, then retain that number. Okay? Any number of digits after that number becomes 0 then. Okay? Added to that, if the number to be rounded off is odd, okay? So we say add as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, even as 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. And if the right-hand side is exactly 5, or the digits following that 5 is or are all zeros, then the number is added with 1. Any number then will become 0 after that. So as an example, so say we have 150. So 150, if rounded off to the nearest 100, we see that this is 1. Um, and to the right hand side of that fifth of that one fifth of that one rather is five, so therefore we go back to one. So we ask ourselves, is one um, odd or even? Odd or even rather? So since one is odd, so we follow this rule. So since one is odd, we will add one to that. So therefore, it will become two hundred. Okay. So since one is odd, so add one. Okay. So Anyways, when we say exactly 5, so you can see here that exactly 5. All the numbers after that 5 are all zeros. Okay? Um, and added to that, if this is not exactly 5, 
and there are, for example, this is 151. So that's not part of rule number three. That will be part of rule number rule number two, since it's greater than five, because five five one is greater than fifty. Okay. So another example. We have two fifty. If this is rounded off to the nearest hundred, so we have two. The right hand side of that two is five, and it is exactly five. There's no number after that. After the five, it's all zeros. We go back to our two, and we ask, we ask ourselves, is this two other even? We know that this is an even number, so therefore it will be retained to two hundred. So we retain two since it is even. Okay, so let me wrap up the. The rules, rule number one, we call that rounding down. If the number to the right-hand side of that number we want to round off is less than 5, we retain. If it is greater than 5, we round up. We add 1, that is. And if it is exactly 5, we ask ourselves if it is even, we retain. If it is odd, we add 1. Okay, so I'm going to give you some exercise exercises to answer this. So directions, round off the given numbers as specified. So that's number one, number two, number three, four, and five. So you can pause the video now so that you can try to answer yourself. Okay, so that's it. We're going to answer number one now. So for number one, 2,963 to the nearest thousands. So we're going to look at number two. That's in where that's the thousands place. We look at to the right of the two, that's nine, that's greater than five. So we will round up. That is, we add one, this will become three thousand. Okay, let's go to number two. Forty million three hundred eighty-six thousand and twenty-five. We round up to the nearest millions. Millions rather. Okay. Okay, there's a big difference if we put the a th after that. So nearest millions place so we can see that this is in uh, this number is in the um, 10 millions digit the highest place value that has a that has a number and the millions place is a zero okay but it doesn't matter what matters is the right of it it's right its right hand side is three so three we know of is less than five so we retain we call the crown down so it will become 40 million then Okay, number three, 8,943, we round to the nearest tens. This is the tens digit, that's a four. Um, to the right of it, it's the number three. So that's clearly less than five. So we round down or retain. So that becomes 8,940. For number four, 45,000, that's our given number. Round to the nearest 10 thousands. So we see the 10,000s place as 4. We look at the right of it, that's 5, and notice that this is exactly 5. There's no number after that 5, right? So therefore, this is exactly 5. And by the rules, we ask ourselves is if the number is odd or even. So since it is even, we retain. So the answer is 40,000 will be the number. And lastly, for number 5, we have 150,000, so we are asked to round to the nearest 100,000. So the, the 100,000 100, place is 1, and to the right of 1 is 5, and notice again that this is exactly 5. There's no number after the 5, so therefore we go back to the 1, the 1 we want to round off, and ask ourselves if it is even or odd. So clearly 1 is odd, and by the rule number 3, by the banker's rule, we will be needing to add one to this one that will show us the answer that is 200,000 then. Okay, so I hope you had a score of three and up. That would be fascinating if you had that. And if you have less than that, um, you can try and, you know, watch the video again for clarifications. Okay, so thank you very much. That will be the end of the video. Again, um, this video shows off rounding off numbers. You can always rewatch this um, so that you can you can clear up things that isn't clear to you yet. Okay, so I'm, I'll be making more videos soon. Um, thanks for watching, 
and bye.